Hello, and welcome to John's never-ending list of random things to do. And for today's video, we will be working on a 2019 Honda Civic hatchback. As you can see, we've already reached the 3000 mile mark, so I will show you step-by-step step how to change your oil. Before you begin, you want to jack up your car high enough so you can work underneath. I will be using a pair of ramps. Don't forget to chalk off your wheel here, and right here. Now let's have a look underneath the car. We're removing the two retainer clips on the right and left side. This is possible with a flathead screwdriver. Now you want to remove the two Phillips screws in the middle. Now we're moving to the back. You see four retainer clips. Again, with the flathead screwdriver, just a 90 degree turn, and they will fall out. Now with all retainer clips and screws removed, carefully push the panel backwards, and it'll fall right out. Now is a good time to remove your oil cap. If you don't know what oil weight to use, it's located right here. Going back underneath your vehicle, your oil drain plug is located right here. With the 17mm wrench, go ahead and break the oil drain loose. Go ahead and give it a good push. Now you want to loosen your oil drain plug. And be careful, the oil will shoot out. You can use an oil filter wrench like I have here. Notice how it can expand to fit bigger filters if needed. As you can see at its smallest setting, it's, it does not fit over the filter. Expand the grip and press it firmly onto the filter like so. Attach your 3 8 ratchet with the short extension and loosen the filter like so. Loosen the oil filter slightly so any remainder oil falls into your oil pan. Once the remainder oil has drained completely, remove your oil filter. Now is a good time to pre-fill your new oil filter. Fill it up as much as you can because the oil filter will be installed in the upper position anyway. This will keep your engine from starting up dry. With fresh oil on the oil filter gasket, you're going to go ahead and pre-loop the oil filter gasket. This keeps it from tearing while installing. Before you install your oil drain plug, it is recommended to replace your crush washer. Go ahead and tighten it down to 30 foot pounds. Before you reinstall your oil filter, go ahead and wipe down the surface. Make sure it's clean of any debris. Tighten it down until it's a little snug and then give it another quarter turn. Good. There are taps located below. Here, 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 and here. Start at the front. Put the panel on top of the plastic and then slide it over like so. Keep in mind the tabs. Line it up with the holes. Then pull the panel forward. You can now start to install your retainers. With everything reassembled, you can now start to pour oil into your engine. I added a total of 4 quarts. Reinstall your oil cap. Now 
Now you want to lower your car back down to the floor. Make sure the surface is flat. Start your engine for a few minutes, let it run, and then shut it off. Your dipstick is located at the front passenger side of the engine. Pull it out the first time and wipe it down, and then reinsert it. Pull it back out one more time, and have a look at the oil level. You want your oil level to be at the second indicator. And if it's not at the second indicator, if you have too much, go ahead and drain some oil. And if you don't have enough, go ahead and add some more oil. If you live in the United States, these are the codes you will be referring to when resetting. It is also located in page 119 of your owner's manual. If you live in Canada, these are the codes that you will be referring to, so you know what to reset. This will be located in page 120 of your owner's manual. Lastly, you will have to reset your oil life. Press the information button, then toggle left or right to the maintenance menu, then press enter to select. If you look next to the oil symbol, you will see a letter A. I will be resetting item A. Now we're going to toggle to the vehicle settings. Then toggle down until you find the maintenance menu. Press enter when you do. Find your item A or B, whichever letter you have, and then go ahead and reset it. Lastly, we're going to check the oil life again. Good, 100%. Do take note that the A just turned into a B, so the next time I do an oil change, I will be resetting item B.